Hey everyone, Richard here again. We got a Yamaha Majesty, the YP400. This is a uh, 2007. All right, so we're, we're doing some fork seals. As you can see, the seal is leaking, right? Yay, foil goes everywhere. It goes on the brake, so I recommend changing the brake pads. In fact, that's pretty much a requirement. You can see the oil is uh, pretty much all over friggin' everything. All over the brakes, everything. So uh, I was I took the left side out already. Um, so you might be thinking, how in tarnation did you get the cap up here loose without pulling a ton of other stuff apart? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. It is a 17 millimeter Allen on the top. I just so happen to have this little stubby 17 millimeter Allen. And then your next question is, where did you get this stubby little Allen wrench? Well, let me go ahead and tell you then. I took a socket, half inch drive Allen socket and I put it into a vise, all right? I just stuck a punch down in the back and I knocked out that socket portion. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So with that being said, um, from there I was able just to loosen, well I, I left this top bolt tight just to hold it in place, this top one, and then I loosened the cap Instead of try, I can't really get my house have a, a short uh, snap on 17 millimeter wrench. So you got the stubby 17 millimeter Allen and then a stubby wrench. Oh, look, spider, 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 squirrel, squirrel. Okay, so with that being said, it was actually easier than you think. I just literally see so have a bracket right here, and then I put the wrench on. Then I slowly moved it over, so I used all, you know, I didn't have to get my hands up in there too much, and just broke it free, and then I just did the rest by hand. And then the whole fork came out. Now, I'm just assuming that you've got the fender, which is literally four bolts, and the brake, which is again four bolts off, but I will show you putting that back on in reverse, because it's easy. Um, so, you might be wondering what causes this oil to leak well here is the dust cover right and then right on the inside is a seal so right now i'll go ahead and um get prepared to show you as i take this other one up oh, there's the spider again swirl swirl easily distracted i know but you know it is what it is my dog's going crazy i don't know what's going on the world is coming to an end. All right, be right back. All right, welcome back, Richard here. So, um, one thing I didn't show you before, when you, um, <clears throat> before you obviously loosen up the bolts or whatnot, there's actually a bolt on the bottom. It's right here. Now that bolt holds an inner piece. There's right, a piece on the inside here. And, but you can also, undo it right now and drain the fluid out and actually works better because the spring will hold the tension on the inside for you i just use a uh, my rigid impact i love this thing so also this thing was leaking so i don't expect there to be too much fluid in here at all. Still pull the screw out. Blip 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 Do -do 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 -do. 
This is a ratio right cup. It uh, does ratios, but it also does fluid. So turn this thing around. Like this. So you can see here, we barely got not even 200. And this thing should be pushing um, <clears throat> 348, I think is what the manual says. But you use the Google and you find out, you get the exact number yourself. Now there's also a bunch of sludge up in here because if you think about when something leaks, right, it also lets the dirt in. So when we get this apart, I'll show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off um, from in here and then... When I get this out of here, I'm going to go ahead and set up another camera on the bench and show you a complete disassembly of the fork. Um, this can just lightly screw this back in just for now so when you're pulling it apart, you're just not dripping stuff everywhere. Alright, I will be back in just a few minutes. <sighs> Alright, so I want to get up in here and show you how I broke that loose. Alright, so I can't use this giant little mini handheld tripod here. Alright, so see it right here. If I just slide it in, alright. wrench on it and then it's really tight so I came down like this and then I put a another wrench on the end just to break it loose but now it's loose so I can just do it by hand and then uh, when you get to this point yep. you can just take even just this little wrench and then you can get up in here and just twist the Once it's loose, probably loose, and you can loosen this bolt back up. Then you can just twist the tube by hand. It's going to pop down a little bit. It's a little bit of pressure on the spring. It's not much. Um, I envision it giving me a little bit of a hard time going back together, but I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, uh, also, the reality is <laughs> from, from this point, you can almost pop the whole thing apart. Uh, once you get the tension off, you can pull this uh, bolt back out of the bottom and then pop the seal pop the clip but I want to show you all that when I take it apart on the table so um, we'll be back here in just a minute hey everyone Richard back all right so now we're gonna do the disassembly of the fork again this fork came out of a 2007 Yamaha Majesty the 400 cc scooter it's a hog just real quick, like I was telling you earlier, look at that. This oil that was in the fork is so dirty. Obviously, there's just a little bit left in it that I took out the rest and uh, dumped it already. But I just want to show you all the dirt. I mean, look at all that. It's just absolutely nasty. So we'll get that cleaned up in a minute. I have my drip pan just in case more oil comes out of the fork. Uh, here's the fork assembly all put together. Right, so what we can do is we can start again by taking out this bottom bolt right here. It's a eight millimeter Allen. And I'm using my uh, impact wrench here, the rigid. Just take it out, especially when, so okay, so let me give you a quick little insight here. So this, if you were to take the cap off first and pull the spring out, this would just spin, freely spin in there. The spring is holding pressure, right? So you got pressure on the pressure on the fork, and that pressure is being held against the inside uh, piece. So when you unscrew it, it'll just come right out. It holds itself pretty much. See? Now there's also gonna be a little uh, brass washer in there, a copper washer. Don't forget about that. Okay. 
Now we can go ahead and take the top off. Again, that's a 17 millimeter Allen. Hex Allen, whatever you want to call it. I have a socket that goes into it. And again, air tools use your best bet for doing suspension. Now it's got a little bit of pressure on it, right? Let's see if I can get you show. So it's gonna spring just slightly. That's kind of awkward for me to hold like that. Let's do it like this. So there's a washer that went flying, obviously. Cap. Let me go find that washer. Uh, here's that washer. So something to note, okay? We're, we're gonna look at the spring here, okay? This is a progressive spring. What I mean by that is see how these coils are tighter up top, all right? And wider at the bottom. Do not put that back in backwards. You want those tighter coils at the top. All right, tighter coils at the top, wider coils at the bottom. But why, but why, you may ask. Well, that's pretty simple. As the shock compresses, as you're riding down the road, right? Yeah, I can't do it by hand, I'm weak. <laughs> uh, you don't want all this, it'll just bottom out too quickly. This is the progression of the spring. You're using the fluid along with the spring for your suspension. So now that we got that, you're gonna drip some more fluid. Nope. Oh. Drop some stuff is what I'm gonna do. Let me get some more fluid out of here. All right, so this next part, you have to be very careful, okay? You're gonna pull the dust seal right here. This dust seal off, okay? You can set it down nice and gently. I'm blocking the view, huh? All right, nice and gently, just insert the screwdriver. We have a new dust seal, so there it goes. It's already popping off. It just slides right off. Ergo the name dust seal. This is exactly what it does. It, it's like a pre-cleaning, just cleans off the, the actual tube of the fork while you're riding. Some bikes have like fender guards that block the dirt and bugs. You know, one thing that does, especially out, uh, I lived in Kansas for a while, there's tons of bugs out there, but here in Arizona, there's quite a bit of bugs too, but those bugs can hit the fork, right? And then they get stuck. And then as the, you go in, as you're riding, it starts rubbing against the seal. So it's always good to clean your forks after you ride. It's always a good thing. Okay, so now let me show you. Bring this up to the camera. I'm on camera zoom. All right, so there's a little clip. If I can't get in there. Barely see it. It's right there. He's got to pop it up without marring the actual fork tube. It's nice and easy. All right? See that? I got it up. Slowly. It's nice and easy. Just run it around. Nice and easy. Doesn't take a lot of pressure. It's gonna come off. All right? Look. Hear that? I can do it with my finger now. This is just holding the main fork seal in place. 
Now the fun part. This part you can actually get pretty messy doing. Um, we're gonna pull this dampening rod out first. This is the dampening rod. This right here is what this bolt screws into on the inside. And these tubes, these little holes, will give you your, your up and down smoothness. One more piece hiding in there, I know it. Come on. A piece of the one more piece. It's stuck in there, but that's all right. So, no two if ands or buts about it. So you want to get it out, you just literally pop. Give her a good pull. She'll come right out. So now you can clean this, get it all nice and clean. You can clean this, and you're gonna wanna, now you can get to the fork seal here. It just slides right off. There's some bushings here, you can take a look at them and see how they are. Depending on what the customer wants to do, you can replace those bushings while you're in there. If they're really wore out, obviously you should. These ones, hmm, if it was my bike, I'd probably replace them, but he wasn't interested, he just wants the seals done. All right, so, there's your washer. So bushing, and pretty much now it's just get her all cleaned up. This stuff is nasty. And reverse your process. And I will go through that in a minute. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit and uh, pause the recording. I'm not gonna touch the camera with these hands. My wife would have my ass. Hey everyone, Richard, and we're back. So, got the fork pretty cleaned up. Um, so, just one thing to remember when you're putting stuff back together, especially when it comes to um, washers. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not mess that up. All right. Let's see if I can get in real close. All right. So, there's two sides generally. A sharp side and a round side. The sharp side, generally speaking, is gonna be the side that's biting into. In this case, this washer goes in here. So you want that sharp side down. It's gonna bite into the tube. Just a little FYI. That goes for everything. Washers go on, all kinds of stuff. You can feel it and you can actually see it. I'm pretty sure this camera can get in there pretty good. You can see it. Uh, it's sharp right there. So that end over here is sharp. Yeah, ninja. Okay. Now we're just gonna slide everything back together, reverse style. Oops. Wee. So now the fun part, the seal itself, okay? Take note of how it came out when you took it out. And then the new ones are gonna have a seal, all right? And a um, dust cover. So obviously you see the dust cover is different because it has that lip that locks into the top. And then this is just a, just a seal. There's drivers you use to put the seal in. It looks like, um, 
kind of like a, I don't know how to look like, I don't know, a cup, bottle kind of. You can push it in by hand. Whoa. Get started, and then you run the seal thing over there. I've got it um, sitting on the back of my truck, so I'll be right back. We'll get this thing knocked in. He literally just goes over the tube and slides down and slams into this evenly all around. So I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm back. So the seal is all nice and driven in there. Um, so now, come over here by the camera. This clip is just gonna go in here. It's gonna go on the ground. That's where the clip's gonna go. Look at that, all the way over here. All right, try that again. All right, so here everyone. So the seal is all the way in there and you'll see the groove for this clip. It literally just slides in. It's very easy. To be the easiest easy peasy here probably do it with your fingers not quite so again be very careful with the screwdriver not to mower anything up just give it just a little push in there Okay, once the clip's in there, then you can take the dust cover, slide her over, push it down. It doesn't really take much. You can use the tool to put it on if you want to, but you don't have to. There, now it's all flush again. Remember, tight coils go top. You can actually flip it over, put some pressure on it, and make sure it's already tightened it, but you can make sure this top bolt is tight. Sure is. Next, don't forget your fluid. Please go with what the manufacturer recommends. Viscosity, your weight. The weight of the fluid will change the dampening. A thicker fluid will flow slower through those itty bitty little holes I was showing you in the dampening rod. And then a lighter fluid will flow faster. So all those things change how the, the bike rides essentially. You know, there's so many aspects of suspension. You know, those big racers are just constantly tuning suspension. Computers obviously help out a lot nowadays, but sometimes it comes down to a simple feel. All right. Let me get the fluid ready to put in, and then uh, we'll come back with a video putting the actual fork um, assemblies back into the, the uh, Yamaha. So, you get your fluid. Nice, clean fluid. Pour it in. Then you want to work the fork. Okay. And you'll feel the fluid. Going in and out of that damping rod. The goal is to get all the air out of there and get the fluid flowing in. 
All right, I just want to show you that real quick. It's going to go. It's going to be all up in your face when I'm working on it. It's all right. So here's what I found. Okay, so the, bye, all right, the threads right, are down, and you actually have to compress the spring because it doesn't sit recess, right? You have to compress the spring. So that's good. That's good times. It's fun stuff. Um, here's what I did though on the other side. I started the tube in like so, right? Get all the way up to a bottomed out, right? So it's not gonna, that's it. It's bottomed out. Bam. And then you can't see. There we go. So the bolt, I tightened just the bottom bolt, right? So it's in there. And then uh, I'm just gonna literally push down by hand the uh, the, the Duma Hicker, <laughs> the top of the the part that needs to be pushed down. Uh, tools, tools. Let's drop the camera. Spring is chill. Knuckle busted fingers. That's all right. Don't forget your washer. <sighs> this thing. It's the other side really, really frustrated me, but I got it nonetheless. All right. It's just a matter of time. Literally, you gotta push this thing down. You can see, and just get the thread started without cross threading it. Ooh, almost had it, but my finger's getting stuck on the frame. And that's hurting pain! If you're watching this, you're obviously used to probably busting some knuckles and stuff. Feels like it started. Yep, that's it. So she started in there. Alright. That's it. Then I can get my wrench up in there. Hello, say hello to wrench. Side. I think I was just, I don't know, it's 100 degrees out here, it's hot, I guess it's the same thing, 100 degrees and hot, right? <laughs> and you know what I did on this side, once this started, ah, I'm going to drop the camera, so uh, I'm going to loosen this bolt, right, and hold the top part, and uh, just twist, twist the old tube. The tuber, the uber tuber. Fix my cream, huh? Alright, so you just gotta be careful, real careful with this piece, okay? This thing has slots that line up inside and it just spins as you're driving along. But there's this slot right here and it has to line up. Here, come over here. With, oh, you're gonna fold upside down. Here. It's gotta line up with that tab right there. So that tab, let me hold this up my knee. So this, right, lines up this tab okay okay
You want to turn it, make sure it's good and smooth. Not the brakes in a minute, but this is these bad boys. They're gonna mount into a bracket. There's also have to get done tightening it down. There's a uh, Allen right here. You have to tighten out. It pinches the other side of the axle. So that Allen six millimeter will pinch this. So that's like a double safety. make my life easier I'm gonna take a clamp and I'm gonna push these uh, in the pistons in the brake uh, pistons came off smooth but you know it's gonna make it easier if you make something easier on yourself by all means do So these, I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on uh, the brake grease because yeah, they're gonna slide. You're gonna go in here, all right? You're gonna bolt into the caliper, and it's gonna float just a little bit. So you just wanna put a little bit of grease on these. Hopefully you can see, but actually it's, it's pretty close to right. I'm just going to take the caliper, clamp and just push the piston in nice and slow, nice and slow. I don't need a ton, just a little dab. And I don't mean that silly arm thing. But them dirt kids be doing these dirt. Look at that. Just made a little dab of this. Your grease. Of course. Alright. So if you see the way the pad is designed, right, so it will match up with the rotor. Actually pretty easy to just slide in. Other side. And slide in. Brake's gonna feel weird. Alright. Oh my god, there's nothing there. Ah, just pump it. Oh there it is. Spin, pump, spin, pump, spin, pump. Alright, I'm gonna clean it up. My grubby little pop rinse. Look at these. Little monkey pop rinse. 